One of the main investment objectives of retirees is probably to create a lifelong income. This implies making regular withdrawals from your investment portfolio, which will expose you to sequence of returns risk. Let me explain. In this graphic, we have two five-year investment periods with the same returns, but in different orders, and no withdrawals were made. The end result is exactly the same. However, when withdrawals are made, the outcome is less favorable if the returns are negative in the first couple of years, the reason being growth assets were sold in a down market. Using the bucket approach to structure your portfolio will mitigate this risk. It does so by dividing your investment capital into a number of buckets, ranging from no or low risk to high risk. The first bucket is your income bucket and should have no less than two years worth of income. Investments in this bucket include cash or near cash, for example money market and income funds. Your second bucket covers the three to seven year time horizon, often referred to as the wealth preservation strategy. This bucket includes longer dated interest bearing assets like bonds, corporate credit, as well as stocks. These assets are found in enhanced income funds, bond funds, and low risk multi-asset funds. The proceeds from this bucket are used to replenish the first bucket by rebalancing at least once a year if circumstances allow. The third bucket, known as the wealth creation strategy, contains long-term growth assets. These assets include local and global stocks and rates with a seven year plus time horizon. Direct equity portfolios, multi-asset and equity funds will provide exposure to these assets. Depending on market circumstances, profits should be realized to replenish the lower risk buckets. In addition to allowing for income, your risk profile should also be taken into account when allocating capital to the buckets. Mm -hmm.